Hey guys, I'm PTC. This is Feed the Beast. I'm here over at Generic Bee's place because he has been messing around with some bees. Specifically, experience bees. This is the little hidey hole he made. If you stand in the center, you get all of them. But even then, you don't really need to, to stand in the center and you still get quite a bit of experience. As you can see, I'm just getting XP from just standing here. And that's because these floorboards are not actually wooden planks, they're apiaries, and they have uh, Edenic, Edenic, I don't know how to pronounce it, queens. And these things generate experience. And if you're within the area, every time they tick over, uh, you get experience. So. I mean, I'm getting quite a bit of experience right now. You know, to go from level 39 to 40, that, that's a decent amount of XP orbs. But, I mean, look at this. Just keep going. That is quite a bit of experience. So anyways, I came over here and I enchanted a whole bunch of books. Most of them were garbage. I got, I don't even know how many Vorpals I ended up getting. But I did end up getting uh, repair, some uh, efficiency ones. So now I'm going to try to actually uh, enchant some of this stuff. And I got the pickaxe of the core from that one wisp shrine thingy. So I'm going to put a repair on it. And then I'm going to put an efficiency on it. And I wonder, can I? No, I guess I can't do it like that. So, that's funny because it just, was that less than the last one? Was it the last one like 11? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. So, repair to efficiency 4 plus an efficiency 4 book gives me repair to efficiency 5. Now, Repair will automatically repair the tool. It takes over the place of uh, unbreaking. And efficiency, you already know what that is. I don't have any fortune yet, so I can't put that on there. Although, I don't think I'll put fortune. I I'm kind of up in the air. I don't know if I want to put fortune or silk touch. And I don't know if those will actually mess up the inherent bonus of the pickaxe of the core which is what sometimes when you mine with the pickaxe of the core look at I'm getting XP now and I'm not even near it so I'm like uh oh I'm like jump oh, okay I was hitting the hitting the, the edge right there so I don't know if uh, fortune or silk touch will mess with the bonus I'll I'll, I'll check. I don't think it will, but the bonus for the pickaxe of the core is that sometimes it mines the natural, quote, the natural ore, which basically gives you bonus uh, ore. So, um, yeah, look at this. Look at this. Talking about this earlier, and this is almost certainly going to get nerfed. Which is kind of dumb, because you can already get XP really, really easily in other methods, you know, through XP farms and and um, other things like that. So, I don't know. I mean, the only thing this would require is, you know, if it, if it gets nerfed, it would just mean you put them on the roof and the walls. And you would still get just as much experience, I guess, so whatever. Anyways, alright, so I'm gonna take this back, because I don't know if he actually wants wants that around here, but... This place is like a maze. Trying to get in here anyways? There's only, there's only the one entrance that I really know of, which is uh, that one right there. And I'm gonna steal some of his fashion decorating ideas, because... Well, I, I've already done this in the past myself, but I, I like how he made the uh, how he made the um, the shelving units here. This looks cool. 
Someone broke his window. Anyways, all right. Well, I'm gonna head back to my base, so I will be back in a second. All right, I'm back at my tree farm area. I remember seeing something yesterday. Someone said that when something or other gets patched, that Steve Carts might be able to detect the trees. And the Feed the Beast Minecraft pack did get updated just the other day, and we just now changed over. This is the first video I'm making on the new snapshot, or update, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but unfortunately, it didn't solve the Steve Cart issue, so it's still there, which means I'm going to have to change this. I'm going to have to tear this down and redo the design here. But, you know, it probably shouldn't be that big of a design also um, I was looking into other ways to get rubber and you can get it from you know smelting that stuff um, extracting the rubber wood which I can't you know I can't do um, because the Steve carts doesn't want to cut them down and you can get it from that wood as well Scrap box, industrial centrifuge, but I still have to get the sticky resin. So to get the sticky resin, I either get it from the the, the rubber trees, or I have to, um, you know, use sawmill, industrial centrifuge, or whatever, um, or smelt slimes. And that just seems like more of a pain than anything. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a very small um, uh, multi farm here that will harvest the the resin the the whatever sticky resin and that that should basically just solve the issue right there so i'll just you know make a tiny area here for the for the multi farm and i'll get that up and running and since i don't need it to be running 24 7 um, i'm not gonna have to really worry about the the fertilizer or none of that stuff so anyways all right, I'm going to I'm going to tear this stuff down and then uh, redecorate a bit, so I'll be back in a second. All right, guys. So, I have significantly reduced the amount of area for the tree farm. Since it's only going to be able to do the vanilla types, it really doesn't need to be that big at all. Um I also went and put these uh acacia um, wood logs here just so that it won't plant on this area because I don't want it to accidentally destroy anything over here just in case so does it have any saplings on it? is it putting saplings in there I hope it's not it doesn't seem to be all right anyways it must have just run out Hopefully, it will plant two more right there. Let me see. Yeah, I should plant two more right there. So, there is another way I could handle this. Yeah, it'll plant in there. They're actually good. Wow, I, I lucked out. It's like the perfect uh, perfect size. So, now I can do two types of, of um, what do you call it, saplings, I guess. Now, there is another way I could do this rather than just putting down non-grass blocks. And that would be to use something called... Let me see if I can find it. Oh, 30. Wait a minute. 36? Oh, I'm using a different resolution. So, it's... I think it has less items. Oh, that means that I don't know which which one was which. Because it used to be 26 had all the stuff, all the things, and I guess it doesn't now. So, hmm. Um, should be around here. Yeah, it's right before the B stuff. Um, I can use a module toggler if I want. And what I could do is I could take uh, this pressure plate right here, and I could put it right here. And I could have it so that when the cart goes over it, it will shut off the wood cutting thing, which would also shut off the, the sapling plantings. And then when it comes over here, I could have it turn back on again. 
Um, that seems kind of kind of a waste. I mean, it, it, it's not expensive at all. I mean, it's well, you know, it does require a little bit of iron and, and gold and resources, but really, it's 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 not that big a deal. So, I could I could very easily set up one on both sides, but or I could just put stone or wood down here and do the same thing. So, you know, there is a high-tech method of handling it, but why? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it's just... There's a much simpler way to do it. And it's funny because it reminds me of how... How uh, sometimes I, I solve things in the map-making uh, part of what I do. Uh, some of the some of the guys I have for redstone are really really good, and they can come up with some good stuff. Uh, however, sometimes they come up with really complicated ways to solve really simple things. Like I remember we were trying to work on some randomizer, and the guys were coming up with like uh, all this complicated redstone to to to. This looks really ugly, but I'm just doing it for now. Um, the, these really complicated ways to, to solve how to, to make a randomizer. Um, this was a while ago. And I said, guys, you don't have to do all that. Like, they had like a massive, like a room the size of this, right? Full of redstone. And I'm like, guys, you don't have to do that. All you need is a pig on a pressure plate. <laughs> That's it. You know, if the pig is on it, and it's like a, uh, we actually needed, um, we needed uh, uh, something that, it was for the map a la carte, and we needed something that would, um, when you when you trigger an event, when you press a button, it would either, it would turn on one of three beacons, and, you know, there was massive complicated redstone, like, guys, all you need is a pig and pressure plates, so it was basically, you know, a pressure plate, pressure plate, um, and then... Uh, fence around it and then a pig on top of it and if the pig was on this one it would turn one of the the the, the beacons on if the pig was on that one it turned the other one on if the pig was on both it would turn the third one on like that's all you need <laughs> sometimes so that's the same thing with this you know I could do the high-tech version and I know this is feed the beast and that's kind of the point but yeah you know why bother pig on a pressure plate that's all you need pig on a pressure plate well anyways um, I have to do a lot of work. Uh, I gotta tear down this entire thing now and rebuild it. Um, and actually, I think I'll, I'll, I'm gonna talk about some of that stuff in the next one. By the way, they retextured uh, aluminum. Either they retextured it or they fixed it because it used to be shiny on the sides but dull on the top, which is why it was awesome. Now it's shiny on the top as well. It kind of doesn't really match anymore. Um, I might have to come up with another, another material. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We'll figure it out. But for right now, this is going to end this video. Um, oh, you know what? I haven't used this yet. Let me, let me see how fast this goes through here. Because when I was using, when I was using this, it took forever. I mean, it's, it's decently, decently fast. But there's a lot of blocks there. So let's see how fast this thing goes. Oh, that is so nice. Way, way faster. Basically, it instantly breaks them. Yeah, that's good. That will work. Actually, concrete is, is pretty tough. Oh, almost one hit, basically. That's 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 awesome. What is it doing? Oh, I think it's repairing. Yep, look at that. Doop, boop, boop, mm, boop, 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 and it's done. Full full health again. So awesome, so awesome. Now let's just hope that I don't lose it because that would be bad. That would be bad. All right, well, anyways, why is this block still floating here? Ah.
I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you for watching. How fast does it get rid of this stuff? Eh, not really that fast. Alright, so I'm going to end this video here. Thank you for watching. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Remember, pig on a pressure plate. Hey guys, you might know that I run a Minecraft custom map making build team and we are currently looking for new people. So if you're good at building, making textures, or animating with programs like Blender or Maya, why don't you apply? You can go to blamethecontroller.com or click the link in the description.